So everyone including me thought they were going to add the new mine world in this update, but they had other plans. Roblox made this new event called the games. I already completed this event, but let me just show you really quick before I get into this video. There are three new mini games, uh, soccer right here, pet racer, and the pet tile painter. Uh, in which you have to complete many quests. This is Tile Painter. You know, it's pretty cool. Just like the OG days, like Bubblegum Simulator. This is Pet Racer. Let me just show you, like, an easy version. Right here, you can, you know, press A and D to just move. You kind of get these, you know, yellow speed tile boosts. And then, you you know, go to the finish line. There's obviously quests, like the time to beat and all that. But yeah, let me just finish this one real quick, right here. And I'm going to go fast. Uh, the time to beat for this one, I'm pretty sure, is like 25 seconds. So let's go here, and just like that we finished it. So this is the easiest game mode in my opinion. Oh uh, yeah, we have Tile Painter, a Pet Racer, and Soccer, which is also, you know, just like penalties. Like you have to keep saving the goal. So yeah, these are the three mini games: Soccer, Pet Racer, and Tile Painter. Y you know, and there's also like shines in this update that you can collect. Right here, there's one above this ladder. Obviously they're collected, so you know, they're non-existent. There's one in the corner of the Tile Painter. There's one, or there's two actually in Pet Park right here. Uh, I'm not sure where they are, but I did find two of them here. And then there's one in Auburn Woods, I'm pretty sure, or in Mellow Meadows, I forget. Let's see if there's one in Mellow Meadows. Uh, yeah, I don't think there is one. In oh, there is one in Mellow Meadows. But yeah, that's not what this video is about. As you can see here, I just finished the sixth quest for the Sunset Shores Adventure. Right here, this is the sixth quest, I'm pretty sure. So let's return to the adventure. Obviously, in these rewards, we get a Prismatic Egg, some Seafarer Boost, and, you know, some Luck Boost and Gems right there. The Scorpion Sting. Now, I need to go to Dusty Dunes to complete my quest. This is, like, every area. Uh, it starts in Mellow Meadows, obviously. Then it goes to Auburn Woods, Frosty Peaks, on and on, like Sunset Shores. Now, I'm on all the way on Dusty dunes so i have completed a lot of them i'm pretty sure it will go up to atlantis so i still have you know tons of the way to go but so far from all of this quest and from uh the shine event or the the games event i've got seven prismatic eggs two prismatic tomes three prismatic elixirs two prismatic sundays and 11 mega lucky elixir you can add code the games for some mega lucky elixir but yeah that's not what this video is about so let's get to doing the quests Many hours later. So as you can see, I just finished quest number six. I'm pretty sure of uh, the Dusty Dunes quest. So let's just return to the pet park lobby and see, you know, what we get from these rewards. Obviously, I think it's like the same rewards except just shuffled every single time. Uh, this one gives us actually like a prismatic egg, 100 lucky elixirs, 20 super lucky elixirs, 2 prismatic sundays, 5,000 gems. So let's talk to the adventurer right here. Let's see what he has for us. And here are all the rewards. What are, what's wrong with those slimes? Now we have the Groomy Grotto Adventure. Uh, yeah, so this goes up to Atlantis, so let's see what we need here for the Groomy Grotto. I need a few more islands, I think three more islands after this, the Magma Basin, Hyperwave Arcade, and of course the Atlantis. Here we go. Catch 500 pets in Gloomy Grotto, catch 75 frogs, 75 bats, 75 spiders, 75 poison frogs and 75 dark bats which are epics and 250 mutant slimes so without further ado let's just get into it i'll cut when we get it so as you can see i'm at the mellow meadows because i completed quest number seven so let's return to the adventurer and we got two prismatic eggs 7.5k gems two prismatic tomes and more stuff now we have the magma basin quest which gives us three prismatic eggs two prismatic sundays two prismatic tomes and seven and a half gems seven and a half thousand gems let's get to it so once I defeat just a few more crabs, molten crabs, I will be done with the quest of the Magma Basin. Just like that, I am done. So let's teleport uh, back to Mellow Meadows so I can claim my reward like this. Oh, we're still in the Magma Basin somehow. Um, yeah, this game is really buggy for in this update for some reason. I don't know why. But yeah, okay, now we're in the Mellow Meadows right here, and here is the adventure. We get three Prismatic Eggs, uh, two Prismatic Sundays, two Prismatic Tomes, and seven and a half thousand gems right there. Play the arcade games, defeat the Hypercore, and this is the arcade quest. After about literally 30 hours of this final quest, I have finally finished the Atlantis adventure and the final quest for this adventure quest line. So let's go make our way to Mellow Meadows for this quest. We get the new Dark Leviathan pet, five prismatic eggs, two prismatic elixirs, two prismatic sundays, two prismatic scrolls, and 20,000 gems. So without further ado, let's claim this final quest and see the pets. Let's go right here. Three, two, one, and there it is. We have finished 
the entire quest line. So let's go to our inventory, unequip our pets. So far, this is the items, what we got from the entire quest uh, line. 22 prismatic eggs, 6 prismatic tomes, 7 prismatic elixirs, 2 prismatic paints, I don't know how, 13 prismatic sundays, and 12 mega lucky elixirs. I will not open this this video, unfortunately. I'm going to wait for the next update, the new mine island or whatever. But yeah, let's look at this pet that we just got. Here's all my inventory right here. The new Dark Leviathan pet, uh, it is exclusive pet, secret, exclusive, and normal, 4,300, 1,700 coins, and 3,100 arcade. It's serial number 401, which is actually really surprising. I also have 74 golden cherries and 69 knowledge scrolls, so why not just make this shiny? Why not? Oh my goodness. Wow, that just took like 75 golden cherries, but look at how good this pet is. 8,600 uh, for the mags, so let's just level this up really quickly and see how good we can get it So unfortunately, I had no mythic scrolls So let's see what this pet is with full shiny three two one and the pets are 34 or start the sets are 34,400 tech 13,600 coins and 12,400 arcade tokens Obviously it's shiny with deadly five increasing the damage by two times Looting five with the pets coins by two times and critical hit one which increases my critical hit multiplier by 1.1 times 401 exists somehow, uh, but obviously this one was claimed by me. Secret, exclusive, and shiny, but without further ado, let's see how the Dark Leviathan pet looks like in 3, in 2, and in 1. 3, 2, 1. This is a very, very nice pet in my opinion. You know, it's just like the Leviathan from Bubblegum Simulator, just with a few, you know, added touches like the tail uh, up here, I'm pretty sure, and, you know, the wings. This is a really, really nice pet, and the quest was actually really rewarding in my opinion. I got so much more things than just that Dark Leviathan, which also can go on my stats team. I got 22 prismatic eggs and all of these other goodies 42 egg elixirs all like you know obviously along the road 68 super lucky elixirs and the sea elixirs i got from the uh, beginning quest i also got like tons of golden cherries tons of knowledge scrolls a few magic pendants here and there and a lot of runes from defeating the bosses so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please make sure to leave a like rating and subscribe comment more pet catchers videos ideas if you want to see some and comment more games for me to play in general peace